everybody. My name's Chris Lee, and after three or so years of talking about this, I am super excited to welcome you to our very first Ignite Food. I'm going to be doing our intro presentation Ignite style. So what that will be is, is each presenter will have five minutes. Uh, they'll have 20 slides that uh, auto advance, and they're going to talk to you about their passion and how it relates to food. We had 63 submissions, and you're going to see 16 people up here tonight. I am super excited about this event because it brings together two of my passions, Ignite and food. We thought food would be great for Ignite because it's such a broad topic. I know a lot of us really love the fact that Ignite always brings something new, and we always have surprises. So uh, we didn't want to just hear a bunch of the same stuff with uh, regard to food. So we wanted topics that were all over the board whether it be cuisines or beverages or growing or diets or ingredients, food photography, food art, just anything. Um, one of the things that I love about food is that it can enrich our lives in, enrich our lives in so many different ways. Uh, you know, it's involved in so many things that we do. From the dawn of man, we've needed it uh, to survive, but it's become so much more than that. We do still need food to stay alive, but again, it's way more than just sustenance. I have some friends that are more of this mindset, but for me, it just seems to be a wasted opportunity if we're not looking for the best, tastiest option at any given time. Um, so for me, I can still remember you know, many of the great bites in my life. Um, every once in a while, you'll eat something, and it'll just make your knees buckle. And it doesn't have to be fancy. It could be anything from seared Otoro cheek from Seesaw to the green chili at Rito's. Uh, food also is huge in so many cultures. You know, if you think of all the different countries out there, like Mexico and France and Italy and China and Japan, what's the first thing that pops in your mind? It could just be me, but it's always food. A lot of cultures also use food to show love. So I, I'm Chinese, and that's definitely true in my family. Uh, with my dad, if he likes you, he's going to want to cook for you. And if you go out to dinner with him, he's not going to stop putting stuff on your plate. Food also gives us a, a lot of opportunities to strengthen our families. You know, there are tons and tons of great bonding opportunities, you know, over the dinner meal. And then holidays uh, bring a lot of us together, again, with the focus around the meal. Uh, food and drink are also a big part of our lives with our friends. While a movie may come into play every once in a while, oftentimes with parties and nights out on the town, it typically revolves around food and drink. For some of you, maybe a little more drink, but food too. Food is also hugely important with regard to health. You know, when we keep that in mind and we make good choices and eat well, we feel better. Uh, and healthy food now, it can be awesome. As we become more interested and involved with the source of our food, it often leads us to develop relationships and build community with the people that grow and produce our food. Uh, we have so many great farmers markets around Phoenix now, and many of them have become gathering places. We can even take that uh, beyond and grow our own food. And that can be super rewarding when you see it go from the ground to your own table. I know I was super impressed with my wife uh, in the varieties and quantities of food that she was able to bring from just a few square feet in our backyard. And once we have that food, you know, you can do just about anything with it. Uh, we have great resources out there, just amazing cookbooks. And with the internet, you can find recipes for just about anything. So for me, it's pretty much limitless. No matter what strikes your fancy, you know, whether it be cooking or growing or coffee or scotch, you know, there are resources out there and communities that will help you take your passion as far as you want to go with it. So the next thing that I want to do is I want to thank these folks here, our crew and our volunteers. Uh, they've worked super hard to uh, bring this event together. And uh, if you see anybody in a t-shirt and name badge, please thank them afterwards. Also, make sure not to miss uh, our sponsors over there who have brought great food for you. You know, they were out at the beginning, and they'll be out again at the intermission. So uh, we want to thank them again, and we're super excited uh, to be able to bring this aspect to our first Ignite Food. So you have three jobs now. You need to cheer the folks that are coming out here after me, because this is really, really hard. You need to support them, you know, for all the hard work that they've done. And you need to show respect to the ideas that are so important to them. And if, you, if any of this resonates with you, please connect with these folks around the rooms uh, after the end of the event. 
So that's about it for me. If you guys will give our presenters a huge round of applause, applause, we'll get this going. Thank you. Yeah.